Take the gray skin stitch and stitch on the alternate skin stitch of the shoulder. What I've learned along the way will honestly have made it a lot easier. First, you do want to start off with um, toothpicks. I do recommend having toothpicks. You can find these at Dollar Tree and styrofoam. I always do recommend styrofoam. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I do get these big blocks at Walmart for about $4. Um, one thing I do recommend is keeping the plastic on the styrofoams and just keeping them how they come. It is It does make cleaning up a lot easier. You don't get any of the styrofoam actually breaking off of the blocks and it just stays into the plastic and you can use them multiple times. So I do store them and take care of them. Um, when doing your chocolate covered strawberries, you do want to make sure you wash your berries and completely dry them. If your berries are wet, your chocolate will seize, which means that your chocolate will not stick to the strawberry and it will just ruin your chocolate completely. So make sure they are completely dried, completely, completely dried. Um, I do like to set things on the countertop, so I do make sure I have any plastic wrap or just have a clean countertop at all times. Um, so we'll just get into dipping the strawberry. So first thing you want to do is um, pierce the berries in right in the center. Um, you do want to make sure that once you pierce it, it does feel, feel secure. Um, I do see a lot of people using forks and just holding on to the stem. But to be quite honest with you, that you know will ruin your berry because it will slip right off and the forks will just pierce it multiple times. And then the juices will start coming out of the strawberry. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if water does touch chocolate, it will ruin your chocolate. So toothpicks are honestly going to be your um, best friend when making chocolate covered strawberries. And like I said, you can buy these at Dollar Tree. Um, so you do just want to make sure you pierce your berries as so. Make sure it feels secured. It's not falling off. You want to gather all of the leaves from the berry as much as you can. And you do want to make sure that if you have any chocolate, it is completely melted all the way that there is no um, lumps or, um, you know, the smoother the chocolate, you know, the smoother you are going to have your strawberry. And I do like to come as close to the stem as possible. And you just kind of rotate it, manipulate the chocolate onto your strawberry. And then once it, it is evenly coated, you do want to make sure you drip it. And this is why I do recommend using the toothpicks so that you can just hold it and um, take off any excess chocolate from the strawberry. If you do not take off any excess chocolate, once you do flip the berries over, it will start running down from your strawberry and it's going to dry with drippings coming down your strawberry. So try to take off as much as possible. I mean, you don't have to completely take off, you know, all of the excess, but I do recommend, um, you know, taking off as much as you can. And then once you do, you do um, take that off, you can flip it over and just pierce it through. So you have two methods. One, you can just go ahead and lay it flat I don't like to lay it flat because once you do lay it flat on a on a surface, it is going to leave you a pool of chocolate. If you do want to lay it flat, if that's what you want, I do recommend putting parchment paper down first or it is going to stick onto um, any plates or anything like that. So first put any parchment paper down and then lay your strawberries. But if you are going to be using styrofoam, you do want to make sure that you um, go ahead and just pierce it upside down. And then once your strawberry does dry, it is going to look like this. And presentation is key. So this is the reason why I do also like to just do the upside down method on the styrofoam. Um, because then this way, you know, any way they do grab the berry, it is going to look nice. It is going to be evenly coated. Um, always do make sure that you have room. So what I like to do is I don't like to be overly confident. 
even though I have been making these for a minute. Um, once they do start drying off, I do start transferring them over to other styrofoams. If you do run out of room in your styrofoam, you can always just grab a plate baking sheet um, at this point. Once they do harden, they're not going to mess up anymore, but you do have to make sure they are completely hardened. You can pop them in the refrigerator if you like to harden faster. Um, you can set them down flat as such, and they will not ruin anymore. You do not want to uh, you know, lay them down hard because they will crack. So just, you can go ahead and lay them down to make room for the next ones. I do recommend to not get overly confident because if you do put so many berries, you are bound to have one, you know, tip over, um, touch the next one and it will just mess up the chocolate. Um, this is what I mean by if you don't, you know, drip it off and take off the excess, it is going to leave you those dripping marks. So, you know, this is just the simple coating of the berries with chocolate and how to dry them. I hope you guys learned a couple of tips and tricks if you guys didn't already know. It is a very inexpensive thing to do. It is fun and I honestly, you know, do not spend anything more than about, I would say $20 um, when making. So I think the most expensive thing is pro probably the strawberries. Um, I do buy my chocolate in bulk. So I do always constantly have some. Another thing um, that I can recommend is if you are making large bear, large um, orders of chocolate covered strawberries and you are going to be using the same chocolate, just make sure you do pop it into the microwave in intervals of about 10 to 15 seconds because if you keep working with the same chocolate and aren't constantly you know, reheating it up, it is uh, going to start drying on you midway while you are covering your chocolates, I mean your strawberries and chocolate. So a little tip I can give is just make sure you're constantly making sure that the chocolate is runny and it is still, you know, manageable and workable with. Um, but hopefully the next video, I can show you guys how to decorate these strawberries. There is many things that you can do with these. You can fill them with cheesecake. You can coat them in pretty much anything you do like. Um, you know, it is very easy. Um, and like I said, it is very inexpensive. So hopefully you guys learned something by watching this video and please like and subscribe. And hopefully if this is beneficial for you guys, as these tips were when I first started out and I will continue to make these videos. And if you guys have any questions about anything, anything at all, feel free to just leave a comment and I will make sure to respond to you. You guys can 